Hello, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I would like to talk about the language of the universe and how there is one and how it, it's, it's pervasive and everything. Yeah, so let's backtrack a little bit. Uh, I've been reading this book. Uh, there, there's a book called The Alchemist. It's uh, considered quite popular and uh, it deals with themes that I cover on this channel. Check it out if you haven't. Uh, so there's a language to the universe, and it talks about that specifically in this book. And what I'm getting at is how the language that we use in day-to-day -day life, what we commonly think of as language, something as ubiquitous as math is well known to be a language, but uh, something like English. English is, uh, it's a distillation of Hebrew and Germanic language. So Latin came from Greek, which came from Hebrew. If you didn't know, now you know. So you take Hebrew, you mix it in with some German after distilling it a little bit, purify the Latin into more Romantic ways, and add some German in there, and that's English. I, I love spoken language. I think it's fascinating. I I also talk about the sound aum a lot. That's something I do a lot on this channel. So uh, what sparked my interest was I just ate six eggs sunny side up. Fantastic meal, just throw some salt and pepper on there, which has its own backstory. Basically a king in France decided that salt and pepper needed to be on every table, so he legally mandated it for the economy so that there would be more spice trading and more salt mining and that bolstered the economy for a while, which was a great idea. As much as I don't like French people, that was a great idea. Uh, but uh, the word that specifically sparked my interest was that I put the eggs on the table. And if you didn't know, if you are given a plate in front of you and you have some bowls and whatnot, uh, you are capable of eating all the food that is in front of you at any given time. All the food that is in front of you, you are able to eat it in one sitting. It's just how humans are hardwired. You can just shove food inside of you. That's great. So I put six eggs in front of me and said, I'm going to eat this. And uh, it reconnected my brain to my stock market trading days where puts were introduced in the 1980s as an option class. Uh, I don't remember too much. There's a reason I stopped doing it probably because I was not medicated and I was very much a risk taker and I was very risky. So a put is when you are selling. It is a contract to sell. Excuse me, the eggs are coming up. <laughs> a put is a contract to sell. It's the opposite of, well, not really the opposite, but it it's the selling to a calls buying. When calls were introduced a few years prior, everyone was like, yeah, these are obviously going to be called calls because that's just what they're called. It makes sense to everyone. And now we can, now I'm starting to think about memes and how I've talked about how memes are ubiquitous and they are uh, nomenclature. Memes are nomenclature. They are decided by the general public on what is good and what's what sounds right. And it took them longer to decide that a put would be called put. But eventually they decided, yeah, these things should be called puts. And it's because when you put something you are setting it down, you're selling it, you're letting go of it. So a put is always selling. Unless you're se so you can buy a put, you can sell a put, yada yada yada. It's very complicated. But when you call, you're calling your broker and you're saying, hey, I want to buy this. And that's a call. So if I can taxi my way into memes, um, memes are they are decided on what sounds good. Basically, a meme doesn't make it through its birth stages unless it's catchy and it sounds good and it sounds correct. Um, 
That's why I don't like some of the new, new Pokemon. I think I stopped playing Pokemon just now, like literally like within the last 24 hours because I was like, you know what, I, I don't want to deal with all the new Pokemon. They look stupid. The pig is disgusting. It, it's evil and they're obviously just little demons in this world. So I don't like the new Pokemon. After like Gen 5, I really stop liking them. And, um, but let's, let's backtrack track onto memes. I didn't really have anything planned to talk about memes. But, um, if a meme works, it works. That's just the simple metric. Is if it's popular, it sounds right to people's ears when they say it internally. And then they go, yeah, share that meme. And that's really all there is to it. Everything is connected, and that is one of the greatest lessons in The Alchemist. There's a lot of lessons. Uh, too much to cover. Like, every page there's a lesson, pretty much. So, uh, yeah. Thanks for watching. My name's Liam. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Like so other people can see the video. Comment on what you thought was interesting or what you want to talk about. And subscribe so you can keep seeing my pretty little face. Thank you.